Hello everybody, Caden here today with an episode of Minecraft Wildlife Park, and today we are back on the world to add in a, uh, a build that became way more complex than it needed to be. We added in today hippos and uh, crocodiles to kind of start finishing off the savanna area. <laughs> and so uh, when I originally started this build, I, uh, I was like, oh, we're going to do some fun stuff. It's going to look really cool. We're going to do some interesting builds here. And as you can see here, it was originally just going to be this little platform which people could go and walk on. And then there would be two little like lower down areas with pools. So you'd have crocodiles on one side, hippos on the other. And that was as, as complex as I had originally planned it to get. It was just meant to be this small build right next to the reptile house and uh, the giraffes. And... Uh, <laughs> Well, you could say what happened was a classic case of me taking a simple idea that should not have taken more than probably 30 or so minutes to, to like build and turn it into a project <laughs> that nearly took me two hours to work on, became super duper complex, and wasn't even finished by the time I ended uh, the recording. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I might make these voiceovers a bit short because I'm running out of time to actually make this episode because I spent too much time building today. Uh, and the build is, still isn't finished. You guys will see that in a bit. But what happened, and you can kind of start to see the beginnings of the idea here, is uh, I suddenly realized I wanted to do a building. Not, not, a, uh, not a small building. Not like the gorilla exhibit. I'm talking a massive building. A, an absolute monolithic structure <laughs> for some unknown reason. Um, I'm not really sure why I ended up deciding to do this. It, uh, I, I really have no idea. It just kind of was like, oh, I mean, I, I can. Why not? It won't take that much longer, I thought. And then I really got into, like, the build and, like, you know, that, that moment when you're, like, super getting into whatever you're building and you just kind of keep going and adding. And that's what happened here. Well, not quite yet. In a, in a minute or two, you guys will start to see. But anyway, uh, it's a pretty traditional build so far. The crocodile exhibit itself is kind of, in a way, a scaled-down version of the gharial exhibit we made way back one when we were doing the East Asian area. And I think that was a pretty good thing to draw inspiration from for this build, just because that was a really nice exhibit. Uh, probably one of my favorite ones we built in that area, and you guys really seem to have liked it, liked it since I think out of the East Asian exhibits, that was one of the most popular ones, views-wise, that we made. So, I, I'm gonna guess you guys really liked that one. So yeah, I tried to replicate that a tiny bit, and here, this is the exact moment when I, uh, when I kinda went crazy and decided, hey, let's make this a massive structure. Um, now, to be fair, though, as you guys will see as we kinda continue to work on it, I do think it turned out really, it tur it's turning out really interesting and is something I'm definitely very interested to continue to work on and finish off. Uh, unfortunately, I probably won't have time to finish it off in an episode, so we'll probably be doing that in a live stream. Um, when that live stream will be, I don't know. Uh, probably this weekend, so uh, the weekend after this video goes up, yeah, that's, that's probably when we'll come back, we'll work on this some more and hopefully finish off a bunch of other zoo stuff over the next couple of weeks. So yes, the, the promised zoo live streams are going to be coming, mostly because, well, since I actually have a fair bit of time to talk today, <laughs> uh, we will be, well, Wildlife Park, at least this zoo will, be ending at the end of the year. So I'm just basically trying to get all the last couple of animals I want to get in, and spend all the remainder of the episodes building new exhibits. However, that doesn't leave me much time to actually finish off the zoo, so adding in the buildings, finishing up projects, finishing up pathways and decorations. So instead, I've decided what we'll be doing is doing all that stuff on live streams, because I feel like that makes a lot of sense and uh, should hopefully work quite well. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to tune in uh, on hopefully, probably Saturdays, where we'll be doing this stuff. Anyway, uh, as we continue to work here, this is the hippo exhibit. Um, it's it's a fair bit larger than the crocodile exhibit is, and that's mostly due to the fact the crocodiles I'm using are the mo creatures ones, which are rather small, and we're using the Zawamod hippos, which are enormous. <laughs> 
In fact, I think I only spawned in like five hippos and even that seemed like too many. I think I should have cut it down to three uh, and I might do that actually. Uh, by the time we get actually, you know, finish the zoo, I might have just cut it down to three because I don't think this is enough space for five. But um, it's the same kind of idea as the uh, crocodile exhibit and the same kind of idea as our savanna exhibits. I did make heavy use of the granite walls just because I feel like they have just the an amazing bit of savanna look to them. And I thought they looked really cool in here. Uh, this exhibit has a lot more water than the crocodile one does, and I'm not really sure why I did that, but I did. And I think it looks really cool overall, I'm very happy with how these, both the exhibits turned out in themselves. Um, I think they look very interesting. Uh, yeah. I did get to use the, uh, what are they, the underwater grass blocks again, and that was really cool. I, I really like those blocks, they're a lot of fun to use, and they really make the uh, underwater areas stand out that bit more. But yeah, anyway, I actually have to kind of cut the audio here just because, again, really low on time, kind of need to move things along with the editing process. So I'm going to let you guys finish watching the rest of the build, and yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy, and I'll catch back up with you guys at the end of the episode to give you a proper tour of what we have. All right, guys, here we are with the final build. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the time lapse. Um, Yeah, this is the overambitious Caden project number 28 billion. Um, 
but I love this. I really do. I think it looks absolutely incredible, and I'd very much be interested in coming back and finishing this on a live stream. I hope you guys would be interested in that too. Um, but anyway, as for what we have, uh, this is the finished crocodile exhibit. The exhibits themselves are a bit dark, but I kind of like that. It gives it a really cool, interesting feel, I think. Um, <laughs> man, compared to the Zawa stuff, it, it, it kind of makes me laugh how derpy the uh, the Mo Creature stuff kind of looks sometimes. Because I don't think that crocodile model has changed much in like the last couple of years. But it still looks cool enough. I like the exhibit. There's obviously more details everywhere we could throw in to make this all look that much better, that much more interesting. But... For now, I think it's in a pretty good place. Um, again, I had to cut it short just because I was running out of time and I want to actually get this episode up today, uh, hopefully, and not have it just kind of wait till tomorrow. But yeah, anyway, yeah, this is this is what we have so far. Um, I, I feel like there are a couple of cool things we can continue to throw in here. Maybe an underwater viewing area for the hippos and the crocodiles or like another viewing area back there somewhere. But as for now, it, I think it looks pretty good. Um, and can I say, I rather like these hippos. I think they look very kind of derpy, but also cute. I don't know. They look really good, though. Um, but, yeah, this is this is what we have. I think it's going to look really cool next to, uh, like, in the grand scheme of it all. I think that's going to look very, very cool right next to the uh, reptile house. And with all these other builds right around it, I think it's going to look really, really interesting and add a lot of depth and detail into the actual zoo when it's all finished and should be super cool to look at. So, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say today. Um, oh, I did throw fish in here, um, in case you guys were wondering. We got a ton of fish, mostly because I think it adds more life and interest to these builds, and I've got, like, literally all of the grasses down in both to try and make the water area look a bit cooler, but, yeah. Anyway, again, I think that's all I have to really show off or talk about today. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. Let me know what animals you guys want to see in the next episode. And until next time, guys, see ya.